Good morning and Merry Christmas! It's the last day of Vlogmas. There are specs on my camera. I thought I would do a little stocking haul for y'all. It's just a few treats. But then the first thing I hold up isn't gonna be a treat. But there's this little Christmas sock monkey. And I'm still doing the accent. Oh. And it came with some little candy canes that I think would be perfect to just like throw in some hot chocolate. And it's just so cute. Like, I mean, hello? Then I got not one but two boxes of Christmas animal crackers. Look how freaking cute they are. They're calling them Holiday Circus Animal Cookies Reindeer Games. And it actually comes with games inside and I've already done them all. They're so freaking easy because these are for children, but that's besides the point. Then we have a little mini bag of Chex Mix Muddy Buddies Mint Chocolate. Never tried these before, but I'm very excited. Also, can we just talk about how we all grew up making puppy chow at home and like it was just our good goods and then Chex Mix was like how about we make our own and sell it to you what about that and then last two Kit Kats their mocha plush chocolate I've never had this kind of Kit Kat before but Kit Kat is like my favorite chocolate candy so I'm very excited so like I said Christmas Day pretty chill for us in the fam here I would like to get some reading done today. Let's hope. I would like to actually sit down and do some writing because I've been thinking about my characters every single day and I'm like, I want to write because I haven't written since NaNoWriMo. But then when I actually sit down and think about physically doing the writing, I'm like, what if I just don't? So I would like to just do it today and like get back in the groove because I think I really do want to see this story through and work on it and maybe try to query it one day. Oh, I don't, that's a lot to, we're moving on. And yeah, I hope my family and I can play some family feud tonight. Depends. I think my mom has to work tomorrow, so. But first, I'm gonna clean my room. And I should probably listen to Christmas music while I'm doing it, and maybe I will. But part of me is also just tempted to put Evermore on again, because update instead of listening to music while cleaning i have decided to instead watch the muppets christmas carol which i don't i'm sure i've seen it but literally it has to have been years and years and i don't know i just saw a lot of people talking about it on twitter and i was like i want to watch it and then i realized it was on disney plus as all the muppets things are gonna have a muppet marathon at some point but yeah that's the update. Decided to get a little festive for Christmas dinner. So we have the reindeer antlers and some Christmas jam jam pants with candy canes and gingerbread and little snowflakes. Wait, I almost forgot. You can't really see them because it's daylight. <laughs> Now that's what I call festive. Ha ha. That feeling when you and your sister accidentally match. Exactly. Sweaters in your gaze. Me so cute, I love you. Merry Christmas, my cute girl. Merry Christmas. Itsy bitsy teeny weeny, yellow pocket teeny 
said it. that's good. That's sure. Ten points. <laughs> Y'all, I really tried to read. I read maybe 20 pages or so. I don't know. But I kept falling asleep. I don't know why I've been so sleepy lately. But I am fighting a losing battle, so I'm just gonna watch a movie instead. I'm sorry, but Disney having this bad band cover do the intro for the Disney theme song just really has our generation's obsession with bad kazoo energy, like. <laughs> I can't. So I just finished watching Soul and it was so good. And I really didn't expect it to play out, I guess, the way that it did. The only trailer I saw for it was like the very early first one. So I'm not sure if they ever made one that showed more of the film, but I really enjoyed what it was. And the message was so beautiful. Definitely had me crying a couple times. So highly, highly recommend watching it. It's on Disney Plus and it was just great. So now it's time to wrap up the vlog, my friends. So I did read today, even though it was not a lot. As for these violent delights, I still don't have like a super solid opinion on it. If I had to rate it like right now, I would probably give it a three, but I can feel that it has the potential to go up and like get better. If I could just read without falling asleep, that would be great. But I will definitely talk about it more in my next vlog. I think I'm gonna take a break from vlogging until the new year because I have my crush video to edit and put up along with some end of the year videos. I don't know if I'm gonna do best and worst books of the year just because I don't know if I have enough to talk about for worst books, but they'll definitely be my favorites of the year because I always do that. And then hopefully, when January comes around, I can finally get on a schedule where I'm uploading weekly vlogs regardless of whether or not I've finished the book or whatever because that's what has always stopped me in the past. But if Vlogmas has taught me anything is that you guys just enjoy the content, the little things, and it doesn't really matter if I finished a book or not. So yeah, I'll try to keep that in mind. I didn't do any writing today. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a good Christmas. Like, I kind of, by the later half of the day, forgot it was even Christmas. But it was just a nice, quiet night. I liked watching Soul. I liked watching The Muppets Christmas Carol. I liked spending time with my family, eating dinner and playing games and all that. Jazz. Jazz is a thing in Soul. I wasn't just saying that to be weird okay anyway i sincerely hope that you guys have enjoyed vlogmas i have enjoyed getting to interact with y'all on the daily seeing all your comments feeling the love i can't say i'm going to miss vlogmas because i'm quite excited to not be vlogging every day and uploading every day but i'm very proud of myself for doing it because i was extremely consistent i didn't combine any days my videos uploaded at 7 a.m every single day most of them weren't like super short like i think i only had a couple of those most were around like eight minutes which i think is a pretty average vlog content for one day's worth. Sorry I didn't get around to more of those prompts that y'all gave me on day one. I just haven't had the mental capacity lately, which you may have picked up on, both from the like decline in quality of the vlogs and also with the fact that every time I update, I'm like, so I took a nap. But I hope you enjoyed what we did have this vlogmas season. I'm excited to hopefully do it again next year, as much as like I'm like, I need a break. Right now, I know by next 
December. I will be like vlogmas. Let me know too if there's any videos that you would like to see me do in the new year. Any new type of content that I don't normally do. Let me know. Would love to know. And I think that about wraps it up. Let's do our final, final chocolate. Chocolate! Finally! I'd like to buy all your chocolate. I'm not even gonna hope that today's a good one because you know, this advent calendar as a whole has been I just realized this is a countdown to Christmas, so there is no day 25. It's only 24. Okay, uh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> On that very dumb note, thank you all for watching. I'll see you very soon because I need to get this crush video edited and up, so bye.